So if you can hear your dog's nails on the floor, they are probably too long. Um, nails that touch the ground, especially on slippery surfaces, like in our homes, is like basically allowing our dogs to wear ice skates. When our dogs are slipping on our floors in our home, we are creating subtle injuries on our dogs. If our dog's nails are overgrown for too long, their body will change and compensate um, for that because they're no longer walking on their pads. Our dogs need to walk on the pads of their feet, not their nails. Join me for some tips on how to keep your dog's feet happy and healthy. Here we go. So let's take the ice skates off. We, number one, we need to trim the hair around the pads of the feet. With long coated breeds, you will need to do this their entire life. But as our dogs age, we neglect to maintain the foot hair on our older short hair dog. They do not Last but not least is to, maintain, is to maintain your dog's nails so they do not touch the ground. You will need to clip your dog's nails each week to shorten them. Once you have them at a healthy length, then you can move to clipping them every other week or every other third week. Here are some compli complications to having long nails on your canine companion. When their nails are long, it spreads their toes and pushes on them so their feet splay, leaving them unable to get proper footing. The other thing to consider is that with the nails constantly hitting the ground, it sensitizes the nail bed, which can be painful for your dog to handle their feet. Here are some tips to consider when getting ready to maintain your dog's nails. When our dog's nails are not maintained regularly, the quick gets very long and will grow to the end of the nail, as you can see here. This means there is not much real estate to trim. This is why sometimes when you ask your groomer or vet to do your dog's nails, they do not seem like they that much was cut. The only way to get more nail off is to retrain the quick to become shorter. The more you maintain, the more the quick recedes, and the more you can trim off at a sitting. Here is an example of a receded quick. And as you can see, you can get off more nail once the quick has receded than when the quick is all the way to the end of the nail. So whenever I'm drumming my dog's nails, as soon as I, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm doing the top, I'm doing the sides, I'm doing the tip, and I'm grinding everything. I'm moving around, I'm grinding. When I start seeing that white chalky line, I know that I'm starting to get to an area that I need to pay attention and maybe slow down. In the middle of your pup's nail is a shiny soft center. So this red piece is that soft center that I'm talking about. This is your quick. Even with dark nails, you can see the texture difference between the hard nail and the soft center. The chalky ring will surround the soft center. So the quick in the center, it's usually shiny, um, it's soft, it has a different texture. And your outside nails, crumbly, it's harder. You can definitely, when you really, when you start doing your dog's nails and you get down to a certain point, you're gonna be able to see the difference between the quick and the hard nail. So I hope the information provided here today gives you a better understanding of your pup's nail health and gives you the motivation to move towards keeping your dog's feet healthy and happy. And you want more. You're like, oh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. I, I really want to get into this. I do have a more intensive program. It's called Drummer Like a Boss. It's my signature online program. You can learn about that program at fourpawsadrift.com forward slash capital D, capital L, capital A, capital B. So, again, thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure to have you. And again, I'm Erica Etchison, and 
happy grooming.